I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Welcome to uh, Writing on the Wall. The title of this episode is Nuts. Nuts. Now, these are acorns. And we've had an acorn infestation this year, I'm told. Uh, and of course, squirrels do save nuts for the winter. It's quite accurate. It's not a fable. But as you, I'm sure, won't be too surprised, a university has done a study on what squirrels do with the nuts. And this was the University of Richmond in Virginia. And they studied squirrels gathering and hiding nuts. <clears throat> you ready? Squirrels lose 74% of all the nuts they hide. They lose 74%. Three quarters of the nuts they hide, squirrels never find again. Turns out, squirrels don't track well. <laughs> squirrels have bad memories. They forget. And squirrels have other food sources. And so they can get by for the winter, thank you very much, without all those nuts. Now, my squirrels out here on this property, and we have thousands of squirrels here, they look like capybaras. A capybara, by the way, is an Australian rodent. I believe it's an Australian rodent. It's the largest rodent in the world. These things are huge. They're bigger than Bentley. And so my squirrels are big. Obviously, they're getting nourishment. So is the, is the nut gathering some giant wasted effort, something wrong with the DNA, something wrong in the squirrel's biologic or chemical makeup. Does 26% of found nuts provide enough for them? Intelligent people want to know. Well, the other 74% of these nuts perpetuate the tree species. They're hidden, they're buried, they grow into trees. They feed other animals, other animals eat the nuts, other organisms eat the nuts underground. Is there a grander plan at work, I ask you? Are the flora and fauna in symbiosis? Not so far-fetched. Bees and flowers. Bees pollinate flowers. The flowers welcome the bees. The bees make honey, we eat the honey. Everybody's happy. I've never seen such universal plant, animal, person happiness. Look at seagulls and the beach crowd. Seagulls pick up all of the discarded food. They also pick up food currently in use. Seag seagulls play a major role at the beach. This is ecological symbiosis. Ecological symbiosis, where all these organisms, plant and animal, help each other. And so the logical question is, why don't you wear your friggin' mask? 